Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the classification of lubricants. Now the classification of lubricants are solid lubricants, semi-solid lubricants, and the liquid lubricants. Let's have a look towards the first lubricant called as the solid lubricants. Now, what are actually the solid lubricants? You know that it is neither the liquid nor it is a semi. solid but where these solid lubricants are used the first operating conditions are such that a lubricating film cannot be secured by use of the lubricating oil or grease means where the film does not form by the by the liquid or the grease at that time we have to use the solid lubricant second contamination by the entry of dust or grit particles of lubricating oil or the grease is unacceptable means what the contamination of the lubricating oil or grease is unacceptable means contamination does not takes place the operating temperature or the load is too high even for semi solid lubricant to remain in position when the temperature and the load is high at that time it is not possible for the lubricant to be on that place means what will happen it will uh, squeeze out so uh, solid lubricant can be used at that point combustible lubricant must be avoided avoided means it should not be combustible it should not be uh, ignite so that should be avoided under such condition where oil or grease fails to work solid lubricants are useful as i have told you before now in solid lubricant we are going to see the two most part one is called as the graphite and the other is called as the molybdenum disulfide now about the graphite it is widely used lubricant it is soapy to touch non inflammable not oxidized in air below 375 degrees celsius in the absence of air it can be used to a very much higher temperature so in the absence of air it can be used to a high temperature now graphite can be used as a lubricant in the form of powder or as a suspension so we can use directly the graphite in the form of the powder or we can mix it with the oil or the water and that suspension can be used now graphite when dispersed in a oil it is called as the oil dag so when graphite is mixed with oil it is called as the oil dag and when it is dispersed in water it is called as aqua dag means when it is mixed with water it is called as the aqua dag a oil dag is useful now when the oil dag is made means when it is mixed with the oil it where it is used that oil dag is used in internal combustion engine because it forms a film between the piston and the cylinder which gives a tight fit contact thereby increasing the compression whereas on the other hand the oil dag is useful where a lubricant is free oil needed example in the food stuff industry also the oil dag is used the second is called as the molybdenum disulfide now this it has a sandwich like structure why we say it is a sandwich like structure because molybdenum is in between the two sulfur that's why it is called as the sandwich like structure now in which a layer of molybdenum atom lies between the two sulfur atom as i have told you before it possesses very low coefficient of friction and is stable in air up to 400 degrees celsius now its fine powder may be sprinkled on the surface sliding at high velocity when it fills low spots in the metal surface 
forming its film so if the spots are remain it fills the spot on the metal surface which gives a uniformity to the metal besides the more important that graphite and molybdenum disulfide other substance like soapstone talc mica etc are used as a solid lubricant so some are like we can use the soapstone we can use the talc and the mica they can also be used as the solid lubricant now this here you can see this is the structure of the molybdenum disulfide so this yellow color it represents the sulfur whereas this blue color it represents the molybdenum so this was all about the solid lubricant we have seen about the graphite and the molybdenum disulfide thank you